Hi, Karen here. Just want to give you a very quick tour of the new features we've added to the BuildTrack 50 query screen, as well as highlight a couple of features we added in the last couple of years that you might want to make sure you're aware of. All right, so we've changed how the state list works. This is item one. Uh, and so it's just pretty intuitive now. Hopefully this will be a little easier to manage than the way we used to have it, especially because we have the select all and the deselect all. So now it's really easy to say I want everything but take out United States, um, or which is federal. So that, that just makes it really easy. Uh, okay, the next thing is the contains all. This is a change from last year. Uh, if you have a phrase in here, um, like minimum wage, you're not sure if it's going to be minimum or living wage or some other phrase or wage for minimum something, then you can make it near. Uh, and this will say these two words have to be within 10 words of each other, uh, and then it'll work. So it still means all of these words have to be there, but they also have to be close to each other. Uh, this is also how you can put a asterisk in the middle of a phrase. So if I've got the quotes in it, I can only put the asterisk at the end of the word or at the end of the phrase. So if I've got a phrase almost, but I'm not sure if I'm, it's going to be minimum or minimally or whatever, then I, if I want to put an asterisk in the middle of a phrase, take the quotes off and change it to a near. Um, all right. So then that is the second thing. The third thing is we've increased the number of characters you can search uh, to 500. So we've got this little grabby bar here where you can make this area as big as you want while you're working on uh, your 500 uh, characters worth the query. Um, so all of the boxes now will let you do 500. Uh, all right, item four, filter. So we've added a new build type filter. So if you don't want resolutions, uh, congratulating people, and you don't want memorials being sad that they're gone, then you could take those out. And if you have been taking those out by putting, say, contains none resolving, in here, then you can remove those words and just use this filter instead, and that's going to be a little bit better. Uh, if you only want resolutions because that's what you do, great. Uh, you can search just by resolutions now. Um, other is going to be stuff like constitutional amendments and other miscellaneous items. So you can include those or not. There's not very many, so it really doesn't hurt to, to leave it checked. Um, all right, so that is for number five, current session. So I have mentioned this before talking about housekeeping, but this is pretty important. So when you make a new bill sheet now, it is going to default to searching the current session. Uh, if you would like to look at historical information, no problem. You can change it to session years and pick whatever years you want. Um, but if you have it set to current session, then it's always going to be the current bills, which means at the end of the year, it'll just roll over for you and start searching the new year. So as the pre-files come in for 2021, those bills are added as part of the current session. So you will see those. Uh, and you will continue to see the 2020 bills through the end of the year. But on January 1st, 2021, then we'll just drop out all of 2020 like it never happened, would that was possible. Uh, and we will just be looking at the 2021 bills. So basically, current session means everything will just roll forward for you. And you won't have to go through and do the changes to the, to the timeline anymore at the end of the year. Uh, but if you do want uh, to look at just the pre-files, then you're gonna wanna change this to 2021. But if I pick this dot up and try to drag it over, it's not gonna work uh, because when you pick up the first dot, it can only go backwards. Uh, so you've gotta drag that backwards to get a line and then you can adjust this to be whatever you want it to be, uh, including scoot it up to be just 2021. Um, so yeah, the dot, when you first come in, you're going to have to pull it backwards first uh, to get a line, and then it, you'll be able to work with it. So sorry, that little quirk of the tool, and that's just how it is. Um, all right, so that is how you can change to see just the pre-files, or, or you can leave it as current session, and it'll just roll itself over. Um, all right, and then the sixth and penultimate item, committees. We've added a new search item for committee. So this is a filter. So I can say I want anything that goes through, say, the health committee. Um, and as soon as I've got five or three characters, it'll drop down and show me everything. Um, if I keep typing, it'll keep narrowing. Um, and now I can just pick off which ones I want. And of course, if I'm looking across the whole country, it's going to be a lot. Uh, 
if you're trying to get, you know, all this of a certain committee. Uh, if you're looking at just one state, then this should work beautifully. Now, this is a filter. So it's going to be all of the words I had. So if I had, say, marijuana or something, it would be marijuana that went through a certain committee. If you want to search for all of the bills that went through a certain committee, then you need to come up with a query that will give you all of the bills. If you're looking for a certain, um, so if you don't have any keywords, you're not going to get any results, uh, as you know, because you probably have a hot list or you don't have any keywords. But anyway, so if you don't have any keywords, you won't get any results. So if you want to get all the bills, if you're searching in just one state, easy, you can just put the state code in there, say TX, and then TX is going to be in every Texas bill. So that will catch everything. Um, unfortunately, if you have a state that uh, its name is a word or or in, that won't work. So then you're going to have to type in the whole state name, which should still work just fine. Uh, now, if you're trying to do the whole country, then you need to think of a word that's going to be in every bill. And I have found act, enact with a star, state, and sec with a star. That should get all of the bills. Um, if you also want to get all of the resolutions, then you should add whereas and some form of the word resolve, and then that should bring in all the resolutions too. Uh, so if you want to get all of the bills that went through a certain committee across the whole country, uh, that search term is in the blog post that we just put up about the new query features, if you want to copy and paste it, uh, or it's just, you know, kind of the obvious act, enact, state, and section. Um, all right, so that'll get you all the bills to certain committees. And then the final item, not new, but important this time of year. Uh, so I mentioned that 2020 bills are all going to fall out on January 1st. Not quite true. The bills you have added by bill number just stay stuck here. We assume that you added them. We assume that you added them on purpose. So we add those bills even if they don't match any of your other filters. So even if they weren't in the years you asked for, even if they weren't in um, the status you asked for, even if they weren't in the committee you asked for, we're going to add them. So they're just, we're giving you these bills no matter what. So uh, you do need to kind of clear out the bills from the previous years if you want to. So if you've got a bill sheet where you've just plussed bills in and this is your hot list or driving your map or your widget um, and it's just you know the bills you wanted to highlight from the year and you handpicked them, then they're all just listed here. So the way that you sort those out is if you hover over the remove link, then it'll highlight in red the bills that are from previous sessions. So right now the previous session is um, 2019, but as of January 1st, 2021, the previous session is 2020. So right now, if I click this, it's only gonna get rid of 2019 and older bills. Um, and any bill in a 2019, 2020 session, so the states that have two-year sessions or Congress, those are gonna stay um, because they're part of a 2020 session. So you're gonna wanna come back in January Maybe you wanna wait until you've got some new bills added in so that you don't have an empty widget or map, uh, or maybe just early January, whenever you get a chance, you wanna come in and do it right away. Totally up to you. Um, but as soon as we're into the new year, then you can click remove and it'll take out everything from 2020 or older and you'll have just the current bills in there and you're good to go. All right, so those are the new features. Uh, hopefully that rundown was helpful. Um, and hopefully you're excited about at least some of them. So I'd love to hear from you and see what you think. Um, Good luck in 2021. Bye, everybody.